I think we should have taken him to A&E. No, I'll be all right. No, but do you think he'll understand why we did it? Well, I'll make him understand. Come on. Mm. Hi. You all right? <laughs> I'm at home. Why am I at home? I need, I need to get back. Right. Don't get mad, but we didn't have any other choice. What have you done? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? But you're not having it. I need my keys now. But you're not having them either. Look, I'm not having you wrecking Tracy's wedding day. Wedding day? It was my wedding day! Nate! Going. You're going to have to talk to us sometime. We are so sorry. No, we're not. He's lying. Shut up! Look, we, we thought you were going for custody because Nicholas said that you were going to spend every day with Frankie. And then when we got there and we saw Tracy with that fella, we put two and two together and we made five. And... No, we got four. She's marrying someone else and he can't handle it. He's just too stupid to admit it. If I miss my own wedding, it's on you. Hey. Nathaniel Robinson. Did you just jilt me? Now do you believe me? Yeah. It's fine. It's, it's not as bad as it looks. All right. I'm sorry. But we really thought you, 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 you were going to marry that bloke. I mean, who was he anyway? John. He was from the office across the way. I mean, you kissed him. <laughs> On the cheek to say thank you. I grabbed him on his breakfast run to be our witness. A witness at our wedding. You owe John an egg butty because he skipped it for us. Is the registrar mad? He called he was there to cancel it. That's 300 quid you owe us and all. Look at all this blood. Where's your suit? In my car in town. I wanted to get changed in the town hall so no one saw me. That'll be a suit you're paying for as well. This little mistake of yours has cost you a pretty penny, hasn't it? Why did you keep it all a big secret? We just wanted a quiet one. You know, no fuss, really. We didn't need any more pressure when I was here. It was stressful enough getting back together. So I presume you've been seeing each other for a while now? Yeah, two months-ish. But we didn't tell anyone in case it didn't work out. And I needed to prove to this one that I'm going to mess it up again. So that meant I could concentrate on us, you know, me and Trace and, and that little madam. Hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Doesn't it, Kane? Yes, I get it. Mm. And we will make it up to you. I promise. Yeah, you will. And cold, hard cash. And beer. And wine. And do you want anything, babe? I just wanted you to be my wife. Mm. Give me half an hour. What? Oh, why? You'll see. Uh, uh, 